It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we're asked to identify the slope and y-intercept from a table. Here's our question today. In the table, y is a linear function of x. What is the slope and the y-intercept of the function shown in the table? Here's your table. Select from the drop-down menus, here are your two drop-down menus, to correctly complete the statement about the function. The slope of the function is, choose 1, 3, or 4, and the y-intercept of the function is, choose 0, 1, or 3. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video here, determine which of each is the slope or the y-intercept, and then come back and hit play to see the solution. Good luck. Welcome back. We are given that we are finding the slope and the y-intercept of this function. So slope, we refer to as the variable m. When we're looking for slope, we're looking to find the change in y over the change in x. So if I look at my table of values, I'm going to see what's going on here with my y values first. What is the change that's happening as I go from negative 2 to 1 and 1 to 4? Negative 2 to 1 increased by 3. 1 to 4 also increased by 3 which is what we want to see when we have a linear function. We need a constant rate of change, so it should be the same. Now let's look at the change in the x. So when we look at the change in x, we're going to go from negative 1 to 0 and 0 to 1. Negative 1 to 0 is increasing by 1. 0 to 1 also increases by 1. So my change in y is 3 over my change in x, which is 1. 3 divided by 1 is 3, so the slope of this linear function is 3. And we can choose that the slope of our function from our drop-down menu will be 3. Now we want to focus on the y-intercept of the function. When you're given a table of values, each of these is an ordered pair, an x and a y-coordinate. So negative 1, negative 2 is an ordered pair on the line of this graph of this linear function. 0, 1 is also an ordered pair on the line. When we have an x-coordinate of 0, we know that this point will lie on the y-axis. So when you graph it, you don't go left or right, it's 0, and you go up 1. So the y-intercept of this function, where the line will cross the y-axis, is the y-coordinate of the point when the x-coordinate is 0. So we know that the y-intercept of this function is 1. So we can complete our statement that the y-intercept of the function is 1. So our complete statement is the slope of the function is 3 and the y-intercept of the function is 1. Thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math to review finding slope and y-intercept from a table of values. And that's The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon and have a great day.